Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse, We're Cramped for Time. Yes. Do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Paul is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Paul is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I tell you, before we do anything, I want to recognize a young lady that uh, we've watched the show all year long. Yep. But B.B. Beasley and Super Bowl MVP have been named Youth High Point Horse of the Year. Well deserved. Well, des very well deserved. That horse has won 23 blue ribbons since they, since Baby started riding him, which in, in and a reserve world championship and reserve world grand championship. And for the last three years in a row, she has won the Alabama Jubilee. Well, well deserved. She's a, yeah, a yeah. good rider, and that's a real good horse. Yes, she is. In 22, she won the auxiliary show in Alabama, and then came back and won the Alabama Jubilee. Same year. So she is. Uh, she does a great job. That is one heck of a team. Yes. One heck of a team. Well deserved an award for her. We wanted to recognize her. 23 blue ribbons. Her years, Alabama Jubilee champion. I think that's pretty much tells it all. Yep. Every time you look up, she's in the. She's only been out of the uh, 
top boat getters uh, twice. She was seventh at the celebration once and fourth. The rest of the time, she ever been a little one yeah. third. Mm -hmm. 23 straight. All righty. All right, now let's get to other business that we've got. And we've got uh, everybody's talking about the lawsuit and what we're going to do and ways to raise funds. I made a statement that we could we could do uh, so much per horse. And of course, I put the price way on up there and, and Jimmy Brumgardner come back and said, it'd be better if we just did $100 per horse, which is, yeah. to me, the, the problem we've got is, is one person had, had made the statement that we always had the people with the deep pockets that could pay for the, pay the funds needed. But that, that's about run its ticket. You can't keep asking the same people yeah, you're over right. and over and over. It's time that everybody got involved. Everybody play a point. And, and, and I honestly believe that I don't think 500 or or $1,000 a horse would be good, but I can see everybody paying $100 per horse that they're going to show for this year. And you're going to raise a half a million dollars that way. It, at least, yes. if not more. That would make everybody that's showing part of it. They could come up with a percentage of a sale. You sell a horse, a certain percentage of it goes to the legal fund. Um, it, it just, everybody, everybody needs to contribute, but we all need to look at one thing. If we lose our pads and action device, it's over. Yes, and that's for any part of it. If you lose that patent chain, they make it a law. That's for any part that anything they can do with any kind of patent chain that goes on that horse, regardless if you ride in your backyard. That's that. I mean, it's gonna be against the law to do. Well, I think everybody should be getting involved. They need to be calling Jeffrey Howard. They need to be calling different people on the fast board. Anybody they can. Uh, Jack Heffington, anybody, and saying, hey, we can do this, we can do this, because I can tell you, if, if, if I was going to show my horse, $100 is not too much to ask for from anybody. And I know I've heard some people say, well, I'm not paying anything, I'm not doing this. Well, fine. If you don't want to show your horse, don't pay it. Stay home. You probably won't be missed, to be honest. Yes. But it's time that everybody joined in, everybody helped, and, and it's not right for just one or two people to always pay them. Yeah, the you're right. It, it's, everybody needs to get involved. And I, I said that uh, I've been getting a lot of different topics in for us to talk about. Uh, judging, no sales, that's no selling a horse, horse's value, who owns the horse, Ways to raise legal action funds and uh, advertising, judging. I mean, it all kind. Everybody wants to talk about all kinds of topics. So I'm just going to ask the question: Why do we advertise? To promote well, a horse. to promote your horse. When we started White Horse, I wanted to promote the horse to everybody, not just in the circle inside the walking horse industry. I believe that everybody, the more people that see our horse, more people that are, are around our horse, the better we're going to be. Yes. And to me, I don't think anybody has to advertise with what a horse in order to win. I mean, that's out. If you got the best horse, if we have good judging, the best horse should win. No matter who's on him, yeah. no matter who's riding him, no matter who owns him, no matter who trains him, that's the way it should be. A lot of people feel that it's not that way, and uh, that that comes down to the judging. But people have got to start addressing the judges, and not just the first place horse. I've heard more complaints about the second, third, fourth, and fifth place horse yeah. than I have about the first place horse. And I can understand why. So 
Well, well, that's important to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people don't understand. They might not have that horse can win that class and can be second, but if that horse is do, do good and can be third, fourth, or fifth, that means a lot to a lot of people to get placed where he need to be placed. Well, it does. And plus the fact, if, if you don't tie, if you're only going to tie the first place horse, why give a second, third, fourth? Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, just say, well, we're only going to give one place. Name one winner. Let it go like a Royal Rumble or something mm -hmm. like you're in a wrestling match. It just makes no sense. If people pay their money and they've got a second place horse, they deserve it. But too many times, and this was brought up the other day in a conversation about a horse that is, and, and I'm just going to say it, a bad image horse that's in the ring and not excused, which by I believe one of our rules, and that was another one that was come up, not following rules. One of our rules is a bad image horse is supposed to be sent out. If you leave that bad image horse in and then you tie that bad image horse, you've done an injustice to everybody else in there that places behind him mm -hmm. because they should have been placed before him. But I believe we got some video ready and we're gonna to go to Tunica, Mississippi. All right, Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald. What more can you ask for? Yeah, I was there, been a good horse for a long time. And Bruce and him makes a good team, I mean. Oh, yeah. You know, we was talking about uh, Super Bowl MVP. Yes. He's fixing to get qualified for this class right here. Okay. Yeah, so he's 14. Yeah. <laughs> the Heisman, though, he's hard to beat, but he's hard. Bruce McDonald. I tell you what, now, he's good for them. Oh, yeah, he is good for them. Yep. He's, he's been there for a long both. time. And... Good people. Real good people. There's up tight Jose. The lady that runs the HTGN Extreme Cowboy Competition, yes. it, uh, channel and all this, she said she, she loves Uptight Jose. <laughs> I left, I got a reminder on my Facebook page of something that was yeah. said years ago, and I think this was back in, I'm not, I'm not sure what it was, 2001 maybe. Uh, or 2011, whatever. She was talking about it. And here you go, Mark One and Molly Walters. I tell you what, I, for her first time out, I thought she, I thought did, she made a good show on that horse. Too. She done real good, you know. She got it done. And she's real good for the industry. You oh, know? Lord, yeah. Her, her and Taylor both. Yes. Yeah. Super good. They, uh, they get it done. Well, I mean, them people been in the horse business for years. And I seen some of the horses that she named, and them horses was way back oh, that she yeah. said she owned. They do good. They do very well. They, they, they're just good people. And right here, I like this mare. Honey Bee. Flower child, <laughs> what we'll call her. <laughs> That's a nice man. It is a real nice man. Molly, she, 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 she sets a good Yeah, she does a good job. Honey bee. Right here's Boone's Gin and Sam Martin. I'll tell you what, Sam does a great job. Sam does a real good job. 15 to an under stallion winner. No Mike Floyd's proud of that. Yeah. Yep, he's a tough little son of a gun too. Yep. 
First night out, Ali Joe Jacobs. I tell you what, that young lady just loves the show. Yeah, she loves to ride the horse. She loves she love horses, period. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You seen her on her little pony? Yes. Mm hmm. Racing around them barrels and stuff. You pass by their farm and they got them barrels and all that stuff oh, set yeah. out there in that arena for her. Won't ever have to worry where she's at. If you can't find her, go to the barn. She's there somewhere. A mighty gin was reserve winner from Mike Floyd in Tunica, Mississippi. Oh, yeah, he does got good string horses. He does real good string horses. Right here's the country lineman, B.B. Beasley. That horse there is a nice horse. She's, oh, yeah. She has done a lot of winning with him. she be winning quite a bit with him, I think. Yeah. I don't believe that horse really that old. Nah, he, he's not. I don't think he's maybe five. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe something five. like that, yeah. I don't think he's any older than that. I'm looking forward to seeing her in the classic horse class. Here is quite an honor, which I thought made an excellent show yeah. with Maxine. And that's another good merit. So we, we're loaded with these good ones. You can almost do a whole TV show and just on mares now in this Britain. Yep, almost just good mares out there. Mm -hmm. We had a bunch of good ones. Good idea. Maybe by the fall, the end of it, December, we might be able to put a show together and, and show a bunch of good mares. The and queen here, of the show. Super Bowl MVP again. Now this was one of the shows that she didn't win, but now she was in there with a bunch yeah. of horses that have been showing with adult amateurs and open competition. I always got one of them old timey flat walks right there. Yes. That's what you call a Tennessee walk. Yeah, that's right. And that's the gate. And right here, enough said. Kofax. Blaze has done a tremendous job with He has. She has done real good. She does it, but you can't ever tell. It lost part of her roses. Well, you can't keep them all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you take them out of water, they'll eventually die anyway. <laughs> all right, our next uh, little segment is Jerry Williams at his best. <laughs> I mean, he was extraordinary. I did a great job with the camera, though. You done, you done a real good job there. I got, I, I got you decent side. Yeah. I had Tom and you all centered in it. Well, Tom was the one that kind of helped me through it. Oh. Yeah, he helped me through it there. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go to this interview with Tom Meek and Jerry Williams. Here I am here with Tom Meeks here. One, I think he's, you're on the board of the Breeders Association, ain't you? I am, this will be uh, my fourth year um, on the EC and I actually have to rotate off uh, in December for a year. Okay. Okay. So, but yeah, it's been a great experience and we've really been able to accomplish a lot. Um, one of the things that 
we've been able to do is come back to Tunica and have a horse show and be able to really unite a lot of our organizations and have us all work together instead of independently. And I think that's very important, you know, today and for our future. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your horse experience, you know, on so some of the showing and stuff like that. Showing probably, you know, since I was about 16. Um, and for the most part, I was just showing for a long time until um, I ended up with the Phantom Menace yes. um, back in uh, 2003. And that was, you know, that kind of changed the world. Suddenly I, you know, became somebody in this industry, I guess. And, uh, you know, he was a pretty phenomenal horse in, in his right, uh, in that he just, the way he went. Uh, was just, uh, he, he really carried his own talent. I just really kind of set along for the ride. You know, I, I remember that you were just regular Tom, but when you started riding Phantom Men, you started, started Mr. Tom then. Yeah. Well, it was funny, last night, um, you know, just to talk about kind of, you know, some of the criticisms, um, but I was talking to one of the judges, and he said, you know, I remember when you would show him, he said he'd take a couple of, uh, you know, kind of awkward steps, but then when he hit, he said then it was like an airplane that just took off yes and it was and I mean to this day I still haven't ever ridden another horse that that really uh, would go just like he did so um so what are you showing now well so I I don't have anything that's in the ring just yet yes. I have two that are at uh, Spencer's and Ariens. okay and one of them happens to be um, the last cult of Phantom Menace. Okay. And he will he'll actually be four this coming year. Uh huh. Um, but uh, he's, you know, Phantom did not come along until he was his four year old. Yes. Year. He um, he won Jack um, uh, Baton Rouge uh -huh. with Knocked Blackburn as a three year old. Okay. And then I bought him after that. And then as a four year old, we showed him the four year old. And then, um, you know, we were, I think we were third or fourth at the celebration. And then, um, you know, I kind of was like, well, we're done. And they were like, oh, no, no, no. You're entered in the novice class. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not entered in the novice class. And talking about changing the yeah, world. Uh -huh. So I went in on that Saturday night at the celebration and won that unanimously. And then came back in the novice championship and, you know, in that day, which was 2003, we had 30 entries in, okay. the, in the novice world grand championship. So, you know, there's parts of it I remember and there's parts of it I have to look at the video to know that I was actually there. I just tell you, he was a, a real good horse. So <clears throat> how do you think the show going on? I think y'all doing it. I think it's night. going really well. I think we are having a few challenges with the track itself. Yes. You know, I think we've all gotten a little used to uh, Cooper Steel's yes. wonderful track and how it's able to be manipulated. This one, of course, you know, is is kind of versed for a lot uh, other breeds, yes. a lot more quarter horse oriented. Uh -huh. And so we were having some challenges in it. Um, so, but I think, you know, for the most part, you know, we have really great riders. Yes. And what I saw last night setting in center ring as a, as a um, um, ringmaster, uh -huh. you know, we have some really good amateur riders and they're learning to, you know, take the good with the bad. That's right. I see that you got your judge's license too. I do, I okay. do. And uh, I've only judged one show so far. And that was the Tweeba, um, I guess, uh, versatility and halter show uh -huh. back in, uh, right before the celebration. Okay. And talk about a challenge to start out with halter colts yeah. and, and really try to, you know, do a really good job with that. I mean, it was, we had seven or eight in every class, um, but it was a lot of fun. Yes. And, you know, it really made me appreciate that whole process and really uh, doing a good job yeah. for everybody. So I look forward to hopefully doing that, you know, again. Uh -huh. um, maybe even, uh, you know, my goal is maybe by next year be able to judge this one. I guess it's a lot different judging one in the middle of that ring than the one outside that ring. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You see it. everything, and but you only see what's right in front or, of you. Yes. You know, it can happen. You know, th as a, a spectator, you're going to see all the faults. Yes. As a judge, you're going to see the faults right in front of you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to say thank you for taking time out for doing this interview with me and well, stuff like that. But I appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.
you know, uh, I wouldn't give you a blue ribbon, but I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you, you did good, Jerry. You I, I appreciate good. that. I appreciate but, that. But, but, you know, that kind of put me on the spot there. I, first time I ever done that, but I. Yeah, but I by watching you, you. I thought you did good. Watching you oh, teaching me a lot. Words, I taught you yeah, well. Yeah, you too. taught me well. You taught me well. I do that. Bull crap! You could talk to a wall and you get an answer out of it. Go ahead, and do, go ahead and do the rest of your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, Together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind. Or bring the crowd for some stargazing. Or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. All righty. Now we're going to do something that uh, this was actually Drew McCormick's idea. That uh, she said, go look at some horses that uh, didn't win, that were good horses in a good class. And uh, then she said, Another thing about looking at exceptional horses, but I think they're all exceptional. Yeah. So that'd be kind of hard to do. But we went and found some that I picked out some classes from uh, the classic in Shelbyville that I thought was uh, some good horses, different classes, had a lot of horses in it. That that's what we're going to talk about. So let's start the video. This right here, the first one was Young Trainers, 35 and under. Honor and Obey and R.M. Kelly won it. Yes. But Pride of Oopsie Doo and Blaze Picard, I thought she was on a, a real nice horse. Yes. Then you have Jose's premier, Jesse Barnes. He just opened up his own barn up in Kentucky. Sky High Delilah and Robbie Bradley and The Goat. Gordon Cardell finished out the ribbon, but that, that was a good class. That was a good class.
I still think if we put a stove pipe hat on Bobby Bradley, he'd look just like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> They need to have a uh, costume class. Oh, Jesse, I, I wish him a lot of luck out there on his... Oh, I do, too. ...on his stables out there. I'm, I see a bunch of young guys going out on their own and trying to start something. Well, he's, got, he's got a lot of support between his mother and his stepfather. Yeah. That, uh, they'll support him a lot. I know Jerry's a super good guy. Jerry Might is yeah. his stepfather. But now Jesse's... a Fine young man, he'll he'll do good. Jesse raised up in his business. His dad yep. was a real good horseman. Yes, he was. Try to boopsy do and blaze Picard. That was a good one. Lake and Brindley bought Boyce on that horse. Everybody loves freebies. These are freebies. These are just because I wanted to. Blaze work hard at it. She I does. mean, she's she's she she's work hard at it. She at shows her a lot of nice yeah. horses. Then we went to the mares and gilding class. Miss Stone Cash and Tanner Bucks took the blue. Charlie on fire and Tyler Balkum was reserved. That was a super good horse. Michael and Jeanette Taylor on that horse. Touchline, Edgar Abernathy. Olivia Pope, Colton Atherton. Reservation online, John Allen Calloway. The Mandalorian, Michael Wright. He's Ballistic, Ryan Blackburn. And Bella's Wicked Cash, Sam Martin, finished out the ribbons. Charlie on Fire and Tyler Balkum made a great show for Michael and Jeanette Taylor. That's all you can ask for. Yeah. Put them in there and get a good show and go back to the barn and get ready for the next time. several real nice horses in that class. That was a big class. That's a good one. judging would be tough. Yeah. When you have a class full of good ones. Right there he is, Charlie on fire. Tyler Balkum. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming that horse is one of long time Charlie's, but boy, it's lit up a lot, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I've never seen one like that out of walk time Charlie. And then you have amateur five year old stallions. This one's when you had two good ones out there with each other. Now, Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock took the blue, which we'd run a victory pass on him. But Black Gen Scout and Megan Hammond, now I think they'd make a great show. Yeah. She, they're for Shamrock Farm. Stalking, Jordan Denny. Juris, Jeff Smith. Honor Thy Father, Tyler, Tanya Strickland. 
Black Gin's Justification, Miles Irby, and Graphite, Lucky Collar. I tell you nothing, that jersey, that's a good horse. Yeah. It really is. And I tell you what, Megan's father does a lot for the industry. Oh, yeah. He's always in on the fundraising. Always in there trying to help as much as he can and do as much as he can. You can't ask for much more. There, Megan on the rail. I'm gonna tell you, that's that Black Gen nice Scout's a good horse. That's what happens when you got some good ones in there. Yeah. Because there's three or four real nice horses in that place. I accept what good horse did go on. Oh, yeah. Uh, I really could. There he is, Black Gin Scout, Megan Hammond. Tell you what now, she sets a good oh, seat. Oh, she sets a real good seat. Megan's a good rider. Good jockey. Amateur park pleasure. This is a good class for anybody. Jose is no counting me out and John Gladney won this class. But Olympic aftershock and Kelly Clark for Brassy Thomas and Clark, Thompson and Clark. I bet you part, Russ Thompson's part owner in that horse. <laughs> Why you bet? <laughs> just got, just Jose it. Kim Leonard, Boston Bay, Nancy Evans, Tennessee Gin. I like that name. Gabriel Humiston finished out the ribbon. Kelly does a good job. Yes. You know, when she first started back riding, she didn't want nobody to know who she really was. She said, I want to see if I can do this by myself. Because <laughs> her mother, buddy, was, was a show person. Plus, Thompson once, once said about her mother, said she was the most unassuming person that he had ever met. And I think that is about one of the best compliments you could ever yeah. pay somebody. Mm -hmm. Olympic aftershock in Kelly Clark. And Kelly's just like her. Yeah. I mean, she just is nice and open, just a sweet person. Amateur stallions. Now, buddy, this, this was this was a good one. Oh yeah, right there is a good one. Zorro Jr. We will rock you. And Chris Hutchinson took the blue. The Night King, a great horse. Jeff Smith was riding him. Zorro Jr. You can ask nothing no better. Master Cool Jazz, Brian Nichols. Jack Del Rio and Gordon Ezell and Black Line, Ryan Pinkston finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you, the Night King and Zorro Jr. Yeah. You got two good horses right there. 
two real good horses. Chris does a good job yeah. of riding her horse. Yeah. That horse there had it's a real nice horse. Oh yeah. Old Vince, he does a good job training that horse. Right there is the Night King and Jeff Smith. I really like that horse. I yeah. like the color. You know, he'll stand out. I like these videos like this here. Some of the horses that didn't win, yeah. but you know. But it shows how much yeah. talent's out there. I mean, there's a lot of good. Here's your three-year-old mares and gildings. The Char Queen and Sam Martin, which Sam made a great show on that horse. We yeah. ran a victory pass on him for Beth Beasley. He won the class. I'm on the honor roll. Knox Blackburn for Doug Choir was on a good one, too. I'm acting up Tyler Balkum. Rhonda Balkum, Simply Perfect, Winky Groover, Eric Kahn, John Allen Calloway, and Miss Charlie Joe, Dan Waddell. Jen in Heels, Jen in Heels, <laughs> R.M. Kellett, and Senorita, you know, Thomas Derrickson finished out the ribbons. But today we're talking about the second place horse, which is I'm on the honor roll. Bet that horse is an honor. Yeah, I'm gonna say so. <laughs> if I was a betting man, I I bet on it. Our one and only fan in the gallery today agrees. Oh, yeah. That's when it makes a horse show. You really get excited when, when there's a bunch of horses. Horses in it, that's right. Especially when there's a bunch of good ones out there. And each one of them got their own cheering yeah. section. Bunch of horses out there. Them judges earn their money on that one. I'm on the honor roll, and Knox Blackburn was reserved in this class, and he made a good show. It's also hard when we do this, it's hard on CJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, has, he has to look real close and say, make sure he gets the right one. Knox does, does a good job. He does a real good job. <clears throat> right here, amateur ladies. Now I'll be honest, I, I, I'm a Walt for Roses fan. The Lone Star legend and Candy Green took the blue. But now, like I say, I'm a Walt for Roses fan. Kelly Clark was reserved right there, they are. I just think that horse is unreal. Oh, he's a nice is, horse. He's a great amateur horse. 
He's relentless, was third with Skylar Nipper. By Felicia, Kathy Stewart, which is also a great horse. A neon cowboy, Glenda Nichols. He's Captain America of Captain America. Cheryl Pitt Pittard. By Tequila Sunrise, Anne Marie Couch and Nintendo. Debbie Williams finished out the ribbon. But now right there on the rail, pretty good. Pretty good. I tell you something that really gets me is when you you have a horse that can't seem to win a show, so they say sell it and buy you a better horse. So they sell it and buy a better horse, or what they think was a better horse. They sell the horse that they had for a fraction of what it's really worth, and once someone else buys it, it's unbeatable, even though. It stays in the same barn. Yeah. Same trainer training, but all of a sudden it's just a better horse. That's another thing that really disturbs me about this industry. Walk for Roses and Kelly Clark. And that statement didn't have nothing to do with this class because that young lady has, has done well. That horse did well before she got it, has done well since she's got it. Well, on a state, on something like that, though, Jerry, sometimes it all depends on the person who's riding the horse at first. You know what I mean? Um, some riders are better than other riders. Oh yeah. And you got to set that. You got to set that horse to that rider. Well, I've, I've especially I've if they the same trainer. I've seen this happen, but the one I was thinking about, the first person was a, a heck of a rider. I, oh, okay. I've seen the well, person I mean, ride kind of, yeah. very, very well on horses that were in the ring for their first time. Yes. And they, they did very well with them, but it, then sell them, and, and it, it has to do with our judging, and that's what oh, yeah. I'm referring that's, to. Oh, yeah. That's, that's one of the complaints that I get a phone call on and say, why don't you talk about this? Well, now we're talking about yeah. it. So, uh, but we got more video to do, so before we talk any more about it, you gotta do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. Mm -hmm. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at ten at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So... If you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at HumaneWatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. All right.
right, we're back. We're not, we ain't going to talk no more about judging today. We're going to talk about that next week because I got some stuff that we're going to do. Uh, what we are going to talk about is some more classes that we got going of some good horses from the Celebration Fall Classic. It's at 15, two and under. The Longmire took the blue in this class with Tyler Balkum, but Special by Jose made an exceptional show with John Allen Galloway in the saddle for jo jo Charles Glegern. Charles got some good horses. Oh yeah, he got some good horses. Command on parole and Winky Groover was third. Elway, Edgar Abernathy. Doris Cool Breeze, Brandon Gibbings, Hardy, Link Webb. Just Can't Tell Me Nothing, Justin Harris. Boy, that's a name. And Jens, I can't pronounce that to save my soul. Ain't gonna worry about it. Special by Jose, John Allen Calloway. Pretty nice, real nice. Yeah, he is. Right here at Amateur 15, two and under. I am Mo Cash, and Caitlin Rippey took the blue. A kingpin and Bob Adcock was reserved. Command on parole, Cheryl Crawford. I'm Rick James, Lisa Baum. Stronger, Savannah Upchurch. The Comanche, Pam Russell. Bingo and Dixie. And my major ordeal right there. That's a walking booger, buddy. I like that horse that Bob Kilgore. Yeah. Or Bob Hancock. Bob Bob Hancock shooting me. <laughs> King Ben, that's a good horse. Yeah, he is a good horse. horse. Next week, we may have to go back to Tunica and get some more video. I like to see a horse free and easy with well, like that. Too. You know. Just moving, just as fluid. Yeah. Nodding that head. Moving on, going forward. He's nice. Yes. Bob does a good job of showing. Bob horses. does a real good job. He, he seems to have a good feel for a horse. And here's your amateur, amateur specialty. I don't think they ever had a trainer's trainer's class, have they? No. 
I tell you what, <clears throat> people say what they want to. That horse right there deserved a whole lot better yeah. than eighth place. Trevesa, now he was a walking booger. And yeah. Wouldn't be so bad, but the next day they're getting phone calls, people want to buy it. Mm -hmm. There he is again. Well, I'm just saying, that horse free, easy going, you know. Yeah, I looks mean, that great. Look real good. That, that, that's the only thing that bothers me about some, some of the ways that, that they just, I don't know, it does not, it does not meet the criteria. He was reaching, he was nodding, he was not nosed out. And I, I just thought he made an exceptional show. Yeah. A lot better than eight plug. I can't see anything wrong. Tracy does a good job of showing yeah. him. So, so does Davey. Davey is a great rider. And she will tell you in a minute one don't feel right. Mm -hmm. So she knows. Well, we've got things happening. To, well, tonight we're going to be at the Blue Ribbon in Shelbyville. Yep. Dr. Bennett, he... Uh, he just did a inspection for us, which we showed, but now he's going to uh, tell me he was looking at retiring. Yeah, I, just, I don't believe it'll last. I don't believe so. I hate <laughs> it because he's a good one. Now he's a good. Well, one. I just don't think it'll last. I think he'll be like everybody else. He'll say, well, I don't know about this now, because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, being retired is boring. I have tried it. Don't I don't know if he it. can ever. I don't know if people will let him retire. Because they I mean, he, won't. It, it a just, lot of people. It, it's he's just a good like, one at what he does now. He's a well. It's just like when when we wanting to list a horse. I I, I call him. I want him to do it because I love doing them videos yeah. with him. He's he explains exactly what's going on. He tells you exactly what he's doing, what he's looking for, and and he's always and he don't talk over your head. He no. bring it down to where you can understand everything about he lets it. You know about your horse. Yes. Well, I tell you, we will be back next week with another show, and uh, we're going to show some more horses. Uh, we'll show some winners. We'll show some losers. Yes. And uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a good week. What Same. about you? I hope everybody have a good week and be safe out there. I hope you have a good week. <laughs> Let's go. See, See you all next week. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.